This is installing the Predator 212cc ARC billet connecting rod, the 3.308 version. First thing you want to do is make sure your uh, crankshaft journal is the proper uh, proper uh, diameter, which should be one point one eight eight. And there you go, exactly one point one eight, and. Uh, says if it's uh, out of round by more than 0 0.0005 or rough to the touch, you may need to have it polished. However, if it's smaller than 1.1865, it should be replaced until undersides bearings are available. And these are the bearings. So, get that out of the way. Now we'll work on putting the piston onto the rod. And the way the rod goes in the block is it will go like that. So it can scoop the oil as it goes. And the piston has an arrow on it, or at least a stock one does, and that points down, which should be pointing like this, downwards. And so that means you put the rod on like that. So once you have all that thought through, go ahead and put in the wrist pin. And make sure you have your wrist pin clips. So it's good to have extra in case you lose them. I've lost them before. Okay. And put your piston in the side. I've already got the oil seal on. So it's easy to do on these small ones. You just clip one in and bring it around. Just like that. And then you just clip the other one in like on the groove and bring it around. And make sure you never have a two holes lined up like like this like that you always want to make sure you have them far apart sorry for the camera focus issues but uh it's the best thing to do clean some of this up Then you can install one wrist pin clip, and uh, do that. You just take the hole and you uh, put it in. It might be a little hard to do by hand, but you put it in the slot right there. It's kind of like opposite of the piston rings, and you just and you just uh, almost lost that one. Just put it in. Just like that. Jeez. Oh. Get a new glove. That was louder on the video than when it was in real life, so don't worry, nothing broke. Okay, so now that we got this in, you want to oops, make sure you have some assembly lube, or uh, assembly lube and motor oil. And uh, some people say to use white lithium grease, but I'm not doing that on this one. So, you know, I take some of your assembly lube and drop it down to the wrist pin uh, opening. I guess you call it that. A little bit of oil. It around. Same with the other side. I 
I just have them in this container so I don't have to touch the oil container because uh, it's really messy. And then you're going to take your wrist pin and make sure that's all nice and clean. And then you're going to lubricate it the same way. Some of that. And some motor oil. And then you're going to remember how your your piston and rod are orientated with the arrow pointing down. And the dipper pointing down. So it's going to go in like that. Then on the side you don't have the clip in, you're going to put the wrist pin through and then put it through the rod just like that all the way. And then uh, this might start to get slippery, but uh, you're going to take your second wrist pin clip and do the same thing you did on the first, except don't drop the piston like I did. You can just put it in the slot. If I can get it. Come on. There we are. Perfect. Almost perfect. There we go. And these ones are nice with the little uh, thing bent in the middle. It really helps putting them in. Then you can twist it so you make sure the open part's not near that hole right here. And, uh, sorry if you can't see a lot of that. See what I mean? Just twist that some. Make sure, it's, always make sure it's in all the way. There you go. And there's that. So that's all good. It should very easily move back and forth. Depending on what, uh, lubricants you used. Then, uh, if you have a piston ring compressor, it's always nice. So now on to your block. You're going to want to... Let's see. Sorry about that light. 